we had the water source on the farm and my, my cousin Elizabeth, who owns Marlish Farm, she was looking for some kind of farm diversification project. Uh, both spring and mineral water have to be bottled at source. You literally have to have a factory on the farm where the water comes out the ground. So that brought about a big project on how on earth do we develop a business here, which is a substantial bottling operation. That's where we started to, to research into the funding options available and the Rural Growth Fund through the LEP was, uh, was the option for us. Not ever having done an application before, we always had quite a lot of questions, but any time of the day you could give them a call. If you had any problems whatsoever, they'll help you out with it. Incredibly enthusiastic, really, really were, they really were. Being able to offer opportunities in this area. Last year we took on an engineering apprentice uh, who's doing a fantastic job. And as the business grows, there's going to be more opportunity for it. That's how we can really help and support the community at this point. The jobs that we are creating per head, per capita of, 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 of people living here in this area is, is probably quite substantial. There's not really many other um, employers around here.